In this problem, Carolyn eats two biscuits from a tin. And the tin contains 20 biscuits, 12 plain, 5 chocolate and 3 ginger biscuits. And the question is, what's the chance that they're both not the same type? Now there's lots of ways to solve this, but one of the simplest ways, if unsure, is to use a tree diagram. Now when she first takes a biscuit from the tin, it's either plain, chocolate or ginger. Plain is 12 out of 20, chocolate is 5 out of 20, and ginger is 3 out of 20. So that's the first biscuit, but then she goes in for the second biscuit. So if she got a plain biscuit first, when she goes in for the second biscuit, there are only 11 plain left out of 19. There are still five chocolates and still three ginger. However, if she got a chocolate first, there are still 12 plain, but now there are four chocolate. And now there are still three ginger. But if she got a ginger first, there are still 12 plain, there are still five chocolate, but now there are two ginger. Now the options which include not the same type are plain chocolate, plain ginger, chocolate plain, chocolate ginger, ginger plain and ginger chocolate. So I must work out each of these by timesing together the fractions. So this one is 12 times 5 is 60, 60 over 380. This one is 12 times 3 is 36, so 36 over 380. 5 times 12 is 60, so 60 over 380. 5 times 3 is 15, so 15 over 380. 3 times 12 is 36 over 380, and 3 times 5 is 15 over 380. So I then just add together all the fractions. So just to check, we do this properly, 60 plus 36 plus 60 plus 15 plus 36 plus 15 gives me 222. So it's 222 all over 380. And that is the final answer, which might possibly cancel down 111 over 190.